going to do a haul today of the products that I picked up while I was in Paris. My vlog should be up shortly. This will probably be up before my vlog, but if it is already up, I will link it here for you guys to check it out. So I spent a week in Paris with my mom and we had a lot of fun. Um, and I did end up picking up a couple of things. I didn't really go too crazy, but I did pick up some noteworthy things that I thought I would share with you guys. I noticed that at one of the Sephora's that I went to, it was the Sephora by the Galleries Lafayette, uh, that they had Zoeva. They didn't have a huge selection, they just had basically an end of Zoeva products. But as you guys know, Zoeva is not readily available in Canada. You can purchase it online, but you have to pay, um, I think maybe $14. Canadian to get it shipped to you. So I don't know about you guys, but I hate paying for shipping for anything. So if I can get free shipping or if I can just get the product in the store, that's what I will do. There are a few brushes from Zoeva that I wanted to check out. So I ended up finding a bigger selection of Zoeva products at the Sephora on the Champs-Élysées. It's just a bigger Sephora and they actually had like a, a larger selection of the brushes and the palettes and all the other products that Zoeva carries. So I ended up picking up three brushes. So the reason I got these brushes is because I've heard a lot of good things about Zoeva products um, from other YouTubers, from Lisa Eldridge. Uh, so I got the 228 Lux Crease Brush, which just looks like this. It's just like a nice tapered brush. I figured this would be really great for blending. It feels very nice. Um, it's quite light. I thought it would be, I don't know, for some reason I thought it would feel heavier. The Sephora eye brushes, for whatever reason, they feel a little bit more weighty in the hand. That could just be me. The other eyeshadow brush that I picked up was the 231 Lux Petite crease and um, it's basically a more uh, a shorter kind of denser I wouldn't say dense but it's a little bit stiffer than the 228 so I just thought this would be also good for um, the crease or maybe doing like precise work um, as you can tell from my eyeshadow looks uh, I'm not a makeup artist and I just like to kind of slap on eyeshadows but I do like this shape because it's really easy for me to use so the last brush that I picked up from Zoeva was definitely a YouTube made me buy it scenario and it's because I repeatedly see this brush on Lisa Eldridge's YouTube channel. I think she featured it in um, a video she did maybe about a year ago about her favorite um, makeup brushes or brushes that she keeps in her kit and it is the 110 face shape brush. So it's a really small brush. It actually reminds me a lot of a brush from Sephora. I actually have it in a mini size. You guys will know which brush I'm talking about. I will insert um, a little image here, but it reminds me a lot of that except smaller and a little bit more dense. So um, whenever I see or I watch one of Lisa Eldridge's videos, she's always using this to like buff out cream products or concealer. Sometimes she uses it to put on like cream blushes and things like that. And uh, that's really the main reason I picked it up. Um, again, I haven't used it yet, but it's actually quite soft. So these brushes are, I don't know if it's all of the brushes, but I know this brush in particular is vegan and synthetic. So of course it's great for cream products. And I just love the shape of it. So I'm excited to use this. I have to wash it this weekend. These brushes range from, I think the eye brushes were 10 euros each and the face brush was 13 euros. A couple of other Sephora things that I picked up. Um, I got these Invisa Bobble um, hair ties. I love these hair ties. I actually have a whole bunch of them over here that I got um, while I was in Asia. Um, and I really wasn't going to pick up more of these because I thought, oh, the ones that I got um, just like at a stall um, in Asia were probably just as good. But these, I don't know, they're just better. I think they last longer and um, they are a bit stronger. The thing about the ones that I um, picked up from Asia is obviously they're like a no-name brand. Um, I just got them in a market, like a whole bag of them. Uh, it's just, I find that they, um, when they stretch out, they don't really bounce back very easily. And also they tend to um, kind of rip apart a little bit easier. This one is an Invisible one and I've had it for months. I actually haven't lost it. So they come in a three pack. I've actually started just wearing them kind of as bracelets, even though they are not the most aesthetically pleasing arm candy that you can get uh, because you never know when you need to put your hair up and this way actually I'm less likely to lose it. Last Sephora thing is this little holiday, um, it's called the Winter Wonderland Surprise Mug. 
The only reason I picked this up is because, as you guys know, if you are watching my vlogs, but I just recently went through a bathroom reno, so I'm obsessed with taking baths in my new tub and in my new bathroom. And this is a mug, which is cute, but actually comes with these eight fizzy um, bath things. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I just know that they are like these fizzing bath stars that you throw into your tub and they are supposed to smell really good. I think it says that they're supposed to be a cotton flower scent. This mug is actually quite small. Um, looks like this. It has a, a cute little um, fox on it and these um, bath fizzers. They actually smell quite good. Um, they almost smell a bit like laundry detergent though. They, just in the sense that they, they smell fresh. So those are the things that I picked up at Sephora. Um, I'll show you guys what I got at the French pharmacy that I went to. So this was the bag. I didn't pick up a lot of stuff, but I still managed to spend about, I think, 60 euros there, which is almost $100 Canadian. I did keep my receipt so that um, I could tell you how much everything was. So I got a lot of duos. Um, there was a lot of products that um, came in like two packs where you could save a few euros. So that's what I did. So the first duo that I picked up, which I have already started to use, and I wish I had to mark this. Hopefully I can tell which one I've actually started to use because um, otherwise that's not good. Oh, okay, it's this one because this one has a dirty nozzle, but I picked up a duo of the Chlorine um, dry shampoo So this is one of those again YouTube made me buy it because I saw this in one of um, Sandra's videos from TT Sandra and I think it was like what her like get ready with me videos and um so yeah, I picked it up because I happened to catch that video, I think like on the way to Paris and I just remember it was just in the back of my head. Uh, currently I'm using a dry shampoo from Batiste, but I wanted to try this out. Um, I've used it a couple of times already and I do like it. Nancy from Spiffy Kerm said that she didn't like the scent of this, but I don't know if it's just this particular one, but I actually don't even really notice that much of a fragrance to this. Um, I do notice that it's like a, a slight fragrance, but it's not like overpowering or I don't find it to be too strong. But I have used this and I do like it. It works really well. Um, so I picked up a duo of this. This was a 13 euro 50 and I got the um, formulation for brown to dark hair. So they have an original and then they have this one and I don't remember if they had one for light hair, but this is the one I got. And then another chlorine duo that I picked up is this um, spray deodorant. So I thought I was actually going to use this on my trip because um, the deodorant that I did pick up was running low or that I brought with me. It was from the chemistry brand from DCM. Um, but I decided I would try an aerosol version deodorant next go because I it's been a while since I've used an aerosol version. I think maybe the only one I've ever used is one from Dove. Wasn't a huge fan, but I heard good things about this. Um, someone actually recommended it to me in the store. So this was um, 10 euro 90 for two. I don't know if we're gonna count this as a duo, but it came in a two pack. So there was like a lot of body products from Le Petit Marseille. Uh, one was like their olive uh, cube, which I was going to get, but then I saw this one and I thought I would like this one a little bit better. So it's just a bar of soap, it's a duo. Um, I like to have soap in the shower, uh, so I picked this up, no particular reason. Um, but this one was quite inexpensive, I guess. It was um, 1 euro 95. And then this is kind of my last duo, which is the Embryolis um, Les Creme Concentre, which is the, I think 20, I think we call it like the 24 hour moisturizer here. So this was probably the most expensive thing that I picked up at the pharmacy. This was 23.99, um, but I really love this moisturizer. We used to have them at Sephora. There's a few places you can pick it up at um, in Canada, but one of the places I would always repurchase it from it was Sephora. And for the last few months, I've noticed that they haven't been carrying this brand, which kind of makes me sad. And that's why I decided to pick it up while I was there. It's just a really great moisturizer. I love to use this um, under makeup. And my last little pharmacy purchase is this La Roche Posay sunscreen. So this is a dry touch gel cream and the reason I picked this up is because it says anti-shine. So this is, I, I don't know if we 
have this in Canada or at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, if we do, I can't recall. I know we have a bunch of other La Roche Posay sunscreens, but I can't remember if we have this particular one. I like this one also because it comes in a pump. So instead of having like a squeezy tube, I like the pump um, because sometimes I can apply too much in the squeezy tube and then I'm just like rubbing and rubbing and rubbing forever. So I like to moderate the amount that I actually use with the pump. Okay, I'm going to share with you guys a fragrance that I picked up uh, while I was in France or in Paris. And this is from the brand Sabé Masson. So this is a French brand. Um, Sabé Masson was created by the co-founder of Sephora, whose name is, I believe, Isabelle Masson. So she created, like, once she sold Sephora to LVMH, she decided she wanted a new project, and this was her new project. So when I was in Paris a couple weeks ago, there was only one store, but they were actually building a new store in the um, Carousel de Louvre. Uh, but they only had the one, and I'll, I'll link it below, when I went and it was just this gorgeous um, boutique store. All they carry is fragrances and that's kind of their um, specialty is this Le Soft Perfume fragrance. I picked one up for my mom. I wish I had it to show you guys. So they have these perfume solids in a bunch of different fragrances. If you don't know already, I'm so bad with um, fragrances and describing scents and the technology that goes into fragrances but it's just this perfume solid and it's made without parabens and alcohol so it's just it's supposed to be um, you know really soft and gentle on the skin plus they all smell amazing so I went in there they also have liquid versions of that solid called a soft perfume liquid and there's only about three different fragrances in the liquid version which is the one that I picked up so it has the same like concentration of fragrance as an eau de parfum, but it just doesn't have the um, the alcohol. So you have to shake it up when you um, spray it. It almost sprays like an oil, if that makes sense, but it's not like greasy or anything, which is what I love about it. But I picked up the scent in Parisian Rhapsody, and like I said, I'm terrible with fragrance names, but the box is beautiful, the store was beautiful, the whole aesthetics is beautiful, the bottle is gorgeous, it has this like really weighty lid and like a gorgeous glass bottle. So on the box, it actually lists, you know, the different notes. So it has notes of rose and jasmine and nutmeg, along with orange and red berries, tonka bean, vanilla, and musk. It's just so good. It's so hard to describe. I've never really smelled anything quite like it. It's just so um, feminine, yet wearable, and you know, great everyday fragrance, and I just love it. So apparently this brand is coming to North America soon. Currently it's just in France, but it will be coming. The price point is kind of like a almost the price point for like Jo Malone fragrances. Um, the solids were 22 euros. This is 98 euros. So if you do the exchange rate, it's about $150. Um, this is the only box that I actually saved because I just thought it was beautiful. So look at just like the artwork um, on this box. And um, then she also gave me a pamphlet of uh, I mean, kind of the story behind a Sabe Masson. There's this beautiful like um, gift note if you're giving it to someone. This is kind of a gift for myself. I really wanted a fragrance that um, would remind me of this trip. I don't know if that's kind of the same way you guys look at fragrances, but whenever I smell a fragrance, it takes me back to a moment or a time or a feeling. So I really wanted to commemorate the trip with my mom with a fragrance that I can always smell and just remember the fun that we had. So this is that fragrance for me. Plus it's called Parisian Rhapsody, which I thought was perfect. So the last thing that I picked up is um, a small leather good from Louis Vuitton. And I didn't keep the box with me, uh, or not the box, the bag, but I did save the box because um, I claim my vat back on it. Um, so I just wanted to travel it with it um, in my carry-on just in case I had to get it checked by customs. Although the whole getting your vat back was actually a super easy process. I just did it at one of the Pablo terminals. Um, but this is the box as you guys are probably very familiar with. Um, the dust uh, bag is also in there. And this is what I picked up. So I just wanted something really small, um, 
something that I just could carry with me. It fits in everything. This fits in like a walk or a clutch or like even a big bag, of course. Um, so something just really simple. I was using a card holder for a really, really long time. So I'm used to condensing the type of products that I carry in my wallet. So I usually just have my driver's license, health card, a debit card, a credit card, some cash. So for me to go from that to this, not that much of a difference. If I had to go from like a continental wallet um, or even the large zippy to this, might be a little bit more of a struggle, but I'm not a huge um, hoarder of stuff anyway. If it's everything I need it to fit, so I have like some coins in here, I have cash. The only thing is that um, cash you have to obviously fold because it's not going to fit um, lengthwise. So that's not a big deal for me. I don't carry a lot of cash with me anyway. I carry max like $20, $40. Um, but anything, any cash you, you do have to fold. So these are some euros I have left over and even euros that come in quite small sizes. Uh, it's not going to fit um, without folding. So this also has like um, two big slots at the back so you can fit um, other stuff in there, cards or you know store cards, things like that. It has um, two dedicated uh, card slots on both sides and then it also has this middle divider. So it's just like the perfect um, little wallet for me. I'm really happy with it. I believe this is called the uh, women's um, zippy coin purse but for me i don't treat it just as a coin purse i actually don't keep a lot of coins in here there's probably like two dimes and a nickel in here um i just treat it more as like a compact wallet anyway that is what i picked up while i was in paris um just for price wise in case you're wondering this was 265 in euros in canada this goes for about 450 canadian dollars plus tax of course um and then i was also able to get my bat back so this was kind of a bit of a deal um, buying it in europe versus buying it in canada so probably all in all i probably spent like maybe 350 Canadian on this. So yeah, I thought it was a good deal. Plus it's quite functional. I have been using it ever since. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.